not a pretty sight here at BWI this morning. Just take a look at this crowd. We'll give you a look from above. You can see just how long this line is. It looks like most of the people are standing in line for the Southwest ticketing counter. Now we've seen over 100 flights canceled so far this morning here at BWI nationwide. It's a similar story over 2000 flight cancellations over 5000 delays. So lots of people rerouting this morning. Lots of people having to regroup after travel plans canceled here at BWI. We've seen people sleeping all over the airport as people just try to regroup and get their plans back together. And right now we're here with Parag, Sonia and Jay. They've been some of the people that have had to regroup after their flight was canceled. So you guys came all the way from Central PA this morning, right? We came from Central Pennsylvania last night. We stayed in the local hotel here. And uh, yeah, we woke up around three o'clock in the morning to make our 6 a.m. flight and we got a message that flights canceled. So now we're here, my wife's in line in there, hasn't moved for a while, and uh, we're trying to reroute. We were gonna go to the Grand Canyon in Las Vegas. I think we're gonna miss the Grand Canyon part of our trip and hopefully still make it to Las Vegas. The kids have never been to either, so we were really excited. Yeah, and I'm sure you guys were looking forward to that, right? Yeah, we were. Yeah, and, and you brought up a really good point. You were saying that you even thought about driving all the way to Phoenix, yeah. right? But what happened with that? Well, I'll tell you, People, so far it's early in the morning and people are actually in pretty good spirits. Um, we were in line for a while with my wife and uh, there was a family next to us. They're going to Orlando. They've got their two little girls. They've got their Minnie Mouse hats and they're all very excited. And so we were talking about what everyone's plan was. And um, so the Orlando people were thinking maybe they would just drive. Um, but then they were like, well, then our car is going to be in Orlando and then how do we get back? And then they said, well, maybe we'll get a rental car. But then we thought to ourselves, you know, everyone's probably thinking the same thing and they're probably sold out of rental cars. So, you know, it, it's it's tricky when you have thousands of people and we're all stuck. Um, but like I said, it, it's a mix of emotions. I mean, everyone had, I think, had a nice Christmas holiday and everyone's excited to be on vacation and, and uh, spend time with family. So you're happy about that stuff. And then this is frustrating. So uh, I think people are mostly still in good spirits. I think if this goes on much longer, though, that might be that might uh, turn south a little bit. Yeah. And for you all kids, are you all still looking forward to the trip? Whenever you get there, are you all in good spirits? Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you all so much. Safe travels. Good luck thank getting you. to your destination. You. And like Parag said, you know, lots of people have been waiting in this line for a really long time. Some people we've talked to say they've waited since 1 this morning. Other people have told us they've waited until 2.30 this morning. So we're going to continue tracking these delays, tracking these long lines, and bringing you that information live on air. For now, reporting live, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News.